Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another collective haul. So if you want to see what I picked up, um, keep watching. The first thing I want to bring up are the Jeffree Star lipsticks. They came right after my last collective haul, so I didn't get to show them. And I've already done a couple of looks with the Scorpio. And then there's Gemini, and they're so... So pretty. I'm sorry if my lighting is off. I'm not sure if it is or not. Okay, so this is going to be Gemini that I'm swatching. And I'm going to show you how they look when they're dry because it's just so pretty. I don't even know how to explain this shade. It's like a terracotta nude. <laughs> Does that make sense? And this one, Scorpio, it's like a really muted purple, really cool toned purple. It's so And the pigmentation a little goes a long way. I'm amazed by these. And you, well, I have. I've been using them for eyeliners and lipsticks. They dry matte. They last long. They don't flake. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the swatches on there as well. Better, better camera quality, I would say. What hurts me the most is wiping it off. Okay, so they're almost dry before I wipe them. Almost dry, but... Uh, so pretty. Okay, next are these lipsticks by Milani that I have never tried, and they've been out for a good while, and I've heard so many good things about them. These I got from... I believe it was Walgreens. And I don't even remember the price, but they're super affordable and so many shades to choose from. Um, I got... Matte Confident, Matte Beauty, Matte Flirty, and Matte Naked. And I will be <sighs> swatching you, swatching you? <laughs> I will be swatching these for you. And that is the Matte Flirty. And this is like a berry tone. So that is um, Matte Flirty. I would swatch them on my lips, but I'm not gangster like that. Um, this one is Matte Confident. This is a nice red. So creamy. I'm trying not to suck at swatching today. And then the next one is Matte Beauty. It's a really pretty nude. There's Matte Beauty. Is Matte Naked. Another nude. Surprise, surprise. This one kind of looks like I'm not wearing lipstick, but it makes it look so much smoother and put together. Like, my lips stand out, even though it looks like I'm not wearing lipstick. That is the last one. Aren't those beautiful? So next is this brand that I've heard of, but I didn't know they had liquid lipsticks and so I just picked up two shades just to see what they were like and they're okay they don't dry they're matte but they don't dry down like comfortably to where they're almost kiss proof at least these are not kiss proof by any means but they are beautiful and they don't sink into the fine lines of your lips or anything like that and so the brand is Palladio I think I'm saying that right um, I've heard of their powders and stuff like that. I've seen them on Amazon. But these you can find exclusively, I believe, at Sally's. So I picked up two shades and these are called the Palladio Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color. And they do have like a creamy, moussey texture. Um, so yeah, let me swatch those for you. I have to take these off my hand. Okay, the first shade is, um, oh, by the way, these are Botanical and Vitamin Infused. I will be linking these down below so that you can check out how much they are and what other shades they have. Um, this is Angora. Angora? Angora? This is a really bright, bright, bright red. <laughs> Again, pigmentation is... it's great. So there's that one. So bright, right? And then this one looks way, way light. But it's way darker. You'll see. I really thought it was going to be the shade of this color. I've seen a lot of complaints about that. 
Um, you would think this is like the lighter color, they ha the lightest color that they have, but it's not. Alright, so there's that one. It's really, really pretty. These dry matte, but they don't, they're not kiss proof at all. At all. I feel like the Milani lipsticks, the ones that I just showed you, the matte lipsticks, um, they're not waterproof or kiss proof, but they're not messy. They don't run. They won't end up on your teeth as long as you do the finger trick. <laughs> um, these are most more likely to run, so you got to be careful. Very thin layer. Should be good enough. Um, but yeah, they're pretty affordable. Next is a very exciting. Milani came out with um, metallic liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I had to think about it. And so I picked up three. Two for sure I wanted so, so bad, and I got them. And they are called the Milani Amore Metallics Lip Cream. And they are gorgeous. That's what I'm wearing on my lips. I'm wearing... Um, materialistic and then I have um, chromatic addict was which I swatched on um, snapchat so follow me there if you want to see like random stuff and then I have um, cinematic kiss which looked lighter online but it's like a super bright metallic pink I haven't worn it yet I'm like scared because I don't wear like bright pinks but it's so pretty that I might have to and these would probably be perfect for eyeliners because they dry so fast but they're so bright. So let me swatch these for you. I will start with the one I'm wearing on my lips. And they're like a moussey texture. And they dry so fast that I mentioned that. But they're so comfortable on the lips. Mater materialistic. So it's like a coppery, brown, fiery something. Next one. Chromatic Attic. It's like a nude... It's like the nude version in metallic formula. I mean, how else would I put it right? And let's see if the light will catch it. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> and here is a cinematic kiss. And they have like a dark purple one. I should have gotten that one, but there is room to grow. So there's the cinematic kiss. Very, very metallic pink. And these I got online on their website and they were doing like a what was it I think up to 25 or 30 bucks and then you get to pick out a free moisture lock rose hip oil infused lip treatment they have so many different I don't know what they are scents flavors I don't know I didn't get no flavor from it but this is um this one is repairing prime rose and it's just a clear sticky glossy I didn't really get like any I don't know moisturization from it like it coated my lips and I was like hey this could be a nice gloss because it's so clear um so yeah I might try it as a gloss I did try it on my lips alone and I mean I didn't really do anything but I mean my lips are just jacked up <laughs> and I really 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 am loving this formula and again you know how Kylie um, Jenner came out with her version and they're pretty pricey so if you don't want to commit to that and you want to try something a little more you know pocket friendly wallet friendly purse friendly I think you should go with these um, I believe Wet n Wild and NYX are coming out with their own also <gasps> and you can see kind of that they're drying a little so you can see how they dry so pretty And I found them a little tough to um, get off my lips at the end of the day and I ate like twice and it was still going strong and when it came time to take it off I was like uh oh so it finally came off and yeah so just a warning they good but the next couple of things are from Target by Sinful Colors you know how I love my Sinful Colors nail polish and I was looking for a springy, summery shade, so why not? Um, they have these Kylie called Trend Matter. She's coming out with like all kinds of textures and finishes and all that stuff. And she's collaborated with Simple Colors, and this is like so. Um, this one is 
VI Peach, like VIP, VI Peach, and this is from the from the Shimmer Matte. I didn't think Shimmer Matte was possible, but it is, and it's like this peachy pink shade. Gosh, camera, come on now. And I don't know if you can see it on my fingers. Um, very beautiful shade, but I washed dishes and messed up my work. So I'm going to have to redo my nails again. So excuse the chips and all that funky stuff. I like, this. I like the color a lot. The next thing is my NYX. And this is the Wonder Stick. And I've been seeing it and I put it in my car. And then I'm like, no, let me not. You know, I'm just really intimidated by cream contour. Cream products in general, except for like my foundation and concealer. Like, I've picked that up, but... I just have to practice so what better than to practice with this and um it has your highlighting kind of like a concealer so it has your like highlighting side and then it has your contour side so that'll be fun right to practice 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 and then if I end up liking this cream contour craze and I will get something higher end like I've had my eyes on the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour palette um and I know there's other ones too so I don't know I'm gonna see if I like that technique and I got light medium I guess I can swatch them for you just so you can get an idea so there they are that's the contour and the highlight from the wonder stick not bad and next is this Conceal, Correct, and Contour by NYX also. Oh, you can see the reflection of my camera. That's great. I should open it. That's much better. So you can see I already kind of dipped. So you can see I've already kind of like dipped in there. Because I wanted to swatch. And basically it's just color correcting and contour. I mean like it says. And it's cream products. So I get to play with them and as you can see they're pretty creamy because I just kind of like dabbed my finger in there once and it did those little, you know, little markings. So you'll probably see this in another video sometime in the future. They seem pretty pigmented but they didn't seem to set very well so I think powder is definitely, setting powder is definitely going to be my best friend. And next is By The Bomb. They had a 50% off sale recently and definitely, definitely took advantage of that. I would have gotten way more things, but no. You gotta just keep it at a minimum because, you know, I already have like enough palettes. <laughs> but as you all know, they came out with a, another Meat Matte palette and this one is Meat Matrimony. This is all matte shadows, and they are so gorgeous. Here they are. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. The transition colors are what I am going for right here. I love the darker colors too. I mean, they're all just satiny. And I'll show you the first one. I've had this one, so it's a little dingy. And this is Meat Matte Nude. This also has beautiful, beautiful transition colors. Dark colors. Lots of cool tones in this one. So I'll put them side by side. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Here you can see. Like, you just pack them up in your bag and you're good to go with matte shadows. That's for sure. And I like... Lately I've been using the transition shades from the matte palette meet matte nude palette and just kind of pairing it up with my sweet peach palette and they're just made for each other so that made me want this one even more so I definitely took advantage I think it was like 40 bucks I got it for like 20 bucks so it was just you and I also repurchased for like the third or fourth time now the schwing liner and y'all already know how I love my schwing liner and I hope they would come out with a waterproof matte shade but who knows who knows yeah this is just holy grail status for sure and this one's been holy grail status and this is well on its way so i believe that is all for my little mini collective haul lots of lipsticks as you saw um i'll show you my lipstick right now and that is the milani metallics 
um, lipstick and materialistic. Definitely kiss proof. You wouldn't think that these could dry matte. It's so weird. It's so weird. I don't even know. I don't even know the formula. <laughs> witchcraft all right guys so that is all for my collective haul lots of lip products i know right thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if y'all haven't yet and i'll see y'all in my next video bye by the way i cut my hair i almost forgot yeah if you want to if you want it hey everyone hi everyone